so I was trying to think of a quick way to get around campus. Uh, I'm not very good at skateboarding, so an electric skateboard wasn't really an option, and an uh, electric bike isn't really going to be an option because I have to still commute from an apartment to campus, which I can't really carry a bike with me. Uh, so, I was thinking a scooter, but scooters, electric scooters, are like three, four hundred bucks for a decent one that's for adults. I was messing around with this Razor scooter, and I looked, and 18650 cells, three of them, fit perfectly inside of the deck. So, since those fit perfectly inside of the deck, all of the, and the deck is long enough for probably six, if you do uh, three stacks of two of them, so like a 5,000 milliamp hour battery uh, at 11 volts, uh, which is perfect, and then this deck is long enough that you almost definitely have room for a BMS and all of the electronics inside the deck as well, uh, and then you just put a motor out the back driving the wheels, bigger wheels obviously, probably going to do... Uh, 100 millimeter, 6 inch wheels, because these are way too small, uh, and then have some sort of gear on there, uh, and pretty much the, all of the electronics will be hidden inside of the scooter, and all you'll be able to see is the motor at the back. Alright, so I got the wheels, 100 millimeter, 10 inch, uh, big improvement as you can see. Uh, issue number one, obviously these are not going to fit here, so I'm going to cut this bracket off here and weld an extension on it. Uh, in the back, they do actually fit uh, left and right pretty well. It just needs to be a little bit longer. Uh, and if you can see that this top section is actually further forward in the back. So I'm just going to grind this out so that it matches the back. Um, and then grind this down a little bit here so there's more room laterally. Uh, and it should both fit in there nicely. We've got new brackets on here now. Welded and drilled, and the wheel fits perfectly in there now, like that. And that's the front done. And then I already went ahead and uh, grinded that back wheel out, so now on to attaching the gear to the wheel. So I've cut this out, this used to be a one inch hole, just made it bigger so that it would fit nicely over here, and then you can see those holes, we're going to be putting some screws through, uh, the screws we're going to be putting through, these, this is going to just go straight into the plastic, it seems like the best way to do this, uh, but obviously these heads are not going to fit there, so I'm just going to dremel this section out here, probably out to about there, uh, so that these Screws will fit in there. Alright, there we go. These are nice and wide now, so the screws will fit right in there, just like that. Alright, so we got all of them in there, looking good, and that is pretty good. That is straight enough for me. All mounted up, running nicely. Here is the motor I'm going to be using, just a little, uh, I think it's 600 RPM per volt, a little brushless. Um, we're going to use this pulley, timing belt pulley. Uh, this is not a shaft, a D shaft though, this is a straight shaft, uh, and this is held on with this head screw. So I'm just going to cut a bit of a, cut a little shoulder out of that.
There we go. Nice little partial D shaft. Doesn't need to be much because you know there's not much torque on this, so not too deep, but it'll do. All right, just making the template for the bracket for all of this. I've got uh, these two little pillow block bearings. This cog. Should face this with this one. Um, and then these two timing belt pulleys on the motor and on this shaft. Uh, so this is basically just going to sit like that. The cardboard will it's just uh, eighth inch steel. Um, so the whole idea is that this whole little assembly right here, well, this is going to be all one piece. It'll be the metal will be welded together there, and then through this piece there will be bolt there there and it, it definitely there possibly there as well just because there is not a lot of room on the underside here to put bolts and so I can't put the pillow blocks in uh, directly into this deck because the screws would have to go like right here and uh, there's not enough room there so everything will be attached to this plate which will then be bolted to this, to the deck, over here, where there is a lot more space to put a bolt. So I can't show the welding on the camera because I don't want to mess it up, but there we go. This piece is welded on there now, uh, so we're just going to grind that weld down. Alright, all nice and cleaned up, so we've not got any extra profile on there. Yep, so now I drill the holes. Alright, got all of the holes drilled. Two pillow block bearings are in there. Motors all mounted in there. Pulley's just about the perfect length. Could be a smidge longer, but it's toothed, so it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna hook up with the electronics uh, real quick and just give it a quick test run. Alright, so uh, by hook it up and give it a test run, I accidentally meant that I'm going to attach it. Uh, I cut off this little piece here, because, well, first of all, it's unnecessary, and uh, you can't really get that little pinion in there uh, without sliding the whole assembly in, uh, and of course you can't do that when that's there. So I cut that off, put the screws in, got it nice and lined up, it's nearly perfect, it's about as perfect as I can get it. Uh, alignment wise. This is what we're looking like. Pretty nice. Uh, yeah, so now I'm going to actually hook up the electronics and give it a test run. So just a quick overview of the electronics. The motor is a 600 RPM per volt. It is rated at uh, 600 watts uh, at this voltage, which is going to be running on 11.1 uh, nominal. 12 volts effectively, which is why I'm using a this little SLA 12 volt battery for testing purposes because uh, I don't have the BMS yet. I'm waiting on China. Anyways, uh, this is a brushless motor, uh, and it's just got this little uh, 30 amp speed controller, like 10 bucks or whatever. Um, I'm just using a servo tester for the throttle at the moment, and I'm just going to uh, solder in a Halifax sensor in line with this so I don't have to go buy a throttle that's specifically made for ESCs because those are like twice as expensive as just a normal Halifax sensor. Anyways, so everything's hooked up. All right, so here's the throttle control. And here we go. Alright, 
that's a little faster than I think it should be, which makes sense. Um, I may end up replacing this here with a, uh, both of these are 10 tooth at the moment. I may make this into a 15 tooth one to take up a little bit of that slack. Uh, and also just to bring this down from a top speed of like 25 to more of a top speed of like 15-ish. Because with these 6 inch wheels, I, 25 probably isn't the best idea because this stick could screw you up pretty well at uh, 25 with these wheels. So anyways, yeah, those are pretty much the electronics. It's very simple. Uh, that's the idea of this, is to keep it simple. Uh, yeah, so... That's it for part one. Uh, I'm waiting on the BMS, like I said, for the lithium ions, and that should be here within the week or so, and then I will uh, do the battery pack and finish the video.